Hello everyone, greetings from Berlin, Germany. Just kidding. I'm in Kokomo, Indiana at the Kokomo Pipeline Skate Park doing another tour for you. And this park has been here since 2005. It was built by Grimeline. Um, it's on the south side of the city and uh, has been a staple for transition skaters. I think it might be the only full pipe um, that you can see over my shoulder, the only full pipe in the state of Indiana. So without further ado, let's check out this park. Let's start with the two street obstacles. Um, the first one is really no longer skatable anymore and definitely needs some love. It's this uh, about 18 foot or 18 inch tall uh, ledge that's about eight feet long. As you can see, the, the coping is now missing. Um, so you're not skating this anymore, but I'm sure some people have tried to no slide it or whatever, um, but not, not anything really happening anymore. Street skaters um, don't really come to this park ever. So not really a need. And then down here by the full pipe, there's another really tall flat bar. Um, I don't know if this was originally intended for BMX bikes or what, but definitely skaters are not really enjoying this one. Um, and yeah, this one's probably close to two feet tall square bar um, that again is eight feet long. So really not a whole lot happening with this particular one. So just wanted to get that out of the way and go right into the transit. So the first bowl, um, which is connected to the larger bowl with a spine, is an elbow shaped. And this is the only one that I have really any interest in dropping in on. And, and the transition is pretty steep, as you'll see. Um, but yeah, it's really tight transitions um, towards the back, but kind of fun. It's about a four foot tall and then drop down to a five foot tall. Um, you know, really intended to, again, skate like a pipe, um, like a true full pipe. So uh, you see these tight transitions to, to make it feel that way. And they are steep. You can almost see like on a five foot, you're getting pretty close to vert uh, here. And I'm sure some people like that. <laughs> the coping is, I wanna say this is close to a three inch diameter coping. Um, across the whole park. It is metal, um, but there is some pool coping towards the full pipe, which I'll, I'll show in a little bit. But um, yeah, this, this is probably your starting point if you're not really comfortable skating transition, but you wanna check this park out. Um, definitely doable, but you know, again, really gotta be your thing. So now I'm on the other side of the spine and now i'm into more of the five and a half foot uh territory for transition um really steep all around so you will definitely pick up plenty of speed um so we're gonna go make our way around here as you can see there's a little bit of a camel hump um hip here that um separates out the bowl a bit really don't know what else to say about that and then you get down here into this more of a like a six and a half foot seven foot section a little bit of broken glass down there so i'm not going to really mess with that too much but um yeah this would i definitely would say this is about a seven foot transition based on just my own height and stuff estimating that but You've got this feeling more like a, a true bowl shape, uh, a lot more open and not super tight like you would find in a full pipe. And then uh, you have this more open area with more or less five foot transitions down into another seven foot section uh, to give you some skating options. Again, some up and down roll-ins to break up the, the sections and, and make it feel a little bit more separate. Now it kind of tightens up a little bit with these two dual hips and the hips themselves are only about three feet across. In fact, down towards the end over there, um, it's really only two feet across. So 
for for that really solid transition skater um, they are transferable and then we start getting into the full pipe section so you're gonna go roll down uh, and go in the roll in and this is gonna bottom out to be about seven feet or or almost eight feet and then go through the full pipe which I'd have to look up the diameter um, but based on based on how the other transition elements are I'm guessing this is about a 10 foot diameter um, maybe 12 foot diameter transition on this full pipe so um, and it's elbowed so you got got the opportunity to skate it um, you know just in in sort of a, a unique way like there aren't too many um, full pipes around that aren't just a straight shot through and so in this case you kind of have this almost um, concave um, area that you know I don't I'm sure there are some videos of, of people skating it and, and rolling up through the wall but um, yeah that's not something I'm trying to mess with and so as we get out of the full pipe um, you have this oververt section that's 10 or 11 feet with pool coping at the top um, hasn't really been hit very much I would imagine um, you don't really see any marks on that part of it and then it starts getting a little bit shorter to where you get to this last section in the pool coping transitions over to metal again and uh and yeah um get back more towards an eight foot transition so as i come back up towards the top the last part of it that i will show is this area where the pool coping has been ripped out um old death box there um and as you can see it's totally gone so this park is definitely fallen into disrepair as you uh, haven't, haven't already seen as a result of um, some of the artwork that's been added. But um, needless to say, it's still a smooth, smooth park to roll around in. Um, so if you can get past the, the graffiti and you check out for glass and just clean things up, uh, you're going to find some spots that you can at least pump around in. So it's it's doable it's skatable so that is it for you can hear my echo that's it for the kokomo pipeline park thanks for watching this video just a few quick things to cover that you probably are going to ask about yeah the park is fenced in the park seems like it's always open for the most part. Um, it doesn't have lights, so you're not gonna skate here at night. Um, and really nobody comes here anymore, but if you feel inclined, uh, it's not too difficult to get to. Just Google Pipeline Skate Park in Kokomo and you'll find it. Um, and hopefully for those of you who like skating transition, uh, you find it enjoyable to skate. That's all for me. Thank you for watching. Bye.